This is Dan Getman from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Over the past year, the geospatial analysis team at NREL has been focused on developing visualization capabilities that allow users to explore complex spatial data sets. There's been a lot of interest in spatial temporal data visualization, and as these tools will not be released to the public until September of this year, we're producing a series of videos demonstrating our work in this area. These tools exist within a framework designed to facilitate the creation of web-based GIS tools that we call the OpenCardo framework. OpenCardo is currently used to support over 20 domain-specific web-based GIS applications and will be the subject of another video in this series. This video is intended to demonstrate what we are calling the Multivariate Data Visualization Tool. This tool is designed to visualize spatial temporal data sets and modeling results that are too complex to easily visualize in traditional GIS interfaces. The data set that we'll be exploring in this demonstration is a set of wells data that represents temperatures at depths for over 500,000 wells across the United States. These data, displayed on the map now, are too numerous to create an interactive map that shows all of the data points in the data set. The tool initially aggregates the data at the state level, and as the user zooms in, the aggregation goes down to the county level and then to the actual wells, as we'll see in the demonstration. We're currently looking at the entire 500,000 well data set, so we'll turn that off in order to have a better look at the interactive visualization. The interactive visualization is launched by selecting the analysis tools and then choosing the MVT Wells tool. As you can see, the data are displayed at the state level aggregation. By selecting a different variable, borehole temperature for example, we can update the legend and the map to display the borehole temperatures. Hovering over the states shows the current maximum borehole temperature for each state. Clicking on a state gives us a distribution of the wells within that state. The chart gives us well depth, average bottom hole temperature, and maximum bottom hole temperature. And hovering over the values in the chart gives us the actual values for each binned level. In this case, the number of wells at that bin, the maximum bottom hole temperature, and the average bottom hole temperature. Clicking on other states updates the chart. By using the filters, we can reduce the number of wells to only those that we're interested in and then see the distribution across the United States. In this case, we'll look for shallow hot wells by raising the temperature to something close to 300 degrees Celsius and lowering the maximum depth to something like 2,000 meters. And then, as we click on the different states, we can see the distribution of wells within that state that meet the selected criteria. Zooming into a state will show us the same data broken out by counties. And clicking on a county gives us the distribution of wells for that county. Zooming in further, we can see the actual wells. If we change the selected value from drill depth to maximum bottom hole temperature, we can easily see the hottest shallow wells in the area. Hovering over the individual wells gives us the value for the bottom hole temperature because that's the selected value, but it also gives us the ID of the well so we can look that up in the database. Clicking on the well gives us a distribution of the wells within the current display. If we change the filter, the wells that are grayed out become part of the classified wells. So we'll take this back down so we can get a classification of all the wells in the displayed area. And as we pan the map around, you can see that the chart is updating to represent the values of all the wells that are within the map display.
By providing this level of access to a large data set, users can thoroughly explore those data and get a better understanding of, in this case, where to find wells with a specific combination of attributes necessary to support the renewable energy technology that they're interested in pursuing. Again, this is Dan Getman from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. If you have any questions about this visualization capability, please feel free to email me at dan.getman at nrel.gov.